What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you one tip that will speed up the tedious process of keyframing forever. Let's say you have a text layer and you wanna keyframe it off the screen and make it come onto screen, like maybe a lower third or something. Typically you would just kind of move the position values around until it goes off the screen, right? And then you would add a keyframe and then you go a couple frames forward and then you would bring this on screen down there at the bottom. But the problem with that is if we play this back, it's linear keyframe. So it's gonna slide in and it's gonna have a hard stop. What I mean by a hard stop is right up here at the top, it just kind of stops and it doesn't look smooth. It's not great. Typically, I'd have you right-click on the first one, go to Temporal Interpolation, go to Ease Out, right-click on the next one, and go to Ease In, and then that would smooth that process out, right? As you can see, it kind of smooths in. But what if I told you there's a faster way? Under Edit, go down to Keyboard Shortcuts. I like setting this to one and two because I hardly ever use those buttons, but you can map this to anything you want. Select on one and then come down here to the little search bar and type in ease out. What you're going to do is you're going to go to keyframe temporal interpolation, ease out and drag that onto one. And now let's type in ease in and scroll down till you find keyframe temporal interpolation, ease in and drag that onto two. Now, once you do that, just click okay. What did that do? Well, that basically allowed us to simply highlight the first keyframe, press one, highlight the second keyframe, press two, and just like that, you have created a simple ease in keyframe. Pause. I wanted to let you guys know that in order to make this channel fully focused on tutorials, I decided to take my vlogs and my podcast off the main channel and put them on their own channels. So you guys can click the link in the description down below, or you can head to my channel homepage where you'll see my other channels, the vlog channel and the podcast channel. The vlog channel has just about everything and all these little behind the scene projects of what I'm working on with different YouTubers and a bunch of epic trips that you guys should check out. And my podcast channel is called Inside the Mind of a YouTuber, where every week I'm going to be interviewing YouTubers and going inside the mind of what it takes to be a YouTuber. You should subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but all these videos have zero views and it's like starting over again. Sweet. But let's jump back into Premiere and show you why it's important to have these mapped to your keyboard because it's going to save time. A lot of it. Let's say we don't have any keyframes and we want our text to simply slide off the screen and so forth. All you have to do is set a keyframe and then go a couple frames forward, slide it off the screen, highlight the first one, press one, highlight the second one, press two, and just like that, you have a simple ease out, which is incredible. And when I tell you this will speed up the editing process in so many scenarios, like if I wanted to scale in my clip a little bit to let's say 150, just like that, highlight the first one, press one, highlight the second one, press two, and just like that, I have a simple ease in to my frame. If you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below because I'll be making some more stuff in the future.